hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel in this video I'm gonna be taking you through the process of redoing my room and I'm so excited I've gotten asked a lot to do a room tour and I've never done one just because I knew that I was gonna be changing things up so I decided to not only do a room tour at the end obviously when it's done I'll do one now to show you what my room looks like now and then we'll go through the process and I'll show you everything that I'm changing the biggest thing that I'm gonna be changing and the thing that I'm most excited about is I'm going to be getting wood floors we're using vinyl and um i went with the look of this one i really wanted something light i want all my walls to be white everything to be super light in color because i think it makes my room look bigger because my room is pretty small and i've had this carpet for so many years um when i was really young one of my friends actually threw up on it um obviously it got cleaned up we shampooed the carpet but i really 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 one hardwood floor i've wanted it for so long and i'm so glad that it's happening and then i'm gonna be changing a few other things my room is pretty plain as of right now so i'm gonna get some decor to put in it i am so excited so right now i'm gonna show you my room tour of what my room looks like now so this is my door and obviously you walk in and face this way but if you can see it's kind of weird lighting but this is my white wall it's actually white but my door is yellowish because the rest of my room like all these walls have been repainted but my door has not I'm wearing workout clothes because I went to Pilates this morning and if you're wondering where they're from this is Under Armour and I'm not sure where these are from so I'm sorry but I'm gonna be repainting this door today or tomorrow when I was younger if you can see I wrote down all my height marks okay it's not focusing but part of me is sad that those are gonna be gone but I mean, I don't want a yellow door because if you can, you can definitely tell the difference. This is so white compared to that. and I want to change that. I want to make them the same. So here's the door. Then you turn this way and this is just my closet. And over here I have my filming tripod. And here is my desk area. I just recently got this new chair. So I don't have that to film. But I used to have another desk chair and I got this one. I just have two candles um, lip balm because I'm addicted to it. And this salt lamp. just got this. So that's like a new addition and then tissues uh, I don't really know why my water bottle and my phone and then I have my bed really plain and white have this plaque from when I played soccer I don't know if I'm gonna keep that anymore because I haven't played soccer in so many years then I have this Polaroid picture hanger um this one recently just fell so that is down there but ignore that I'll put it back up then these are my two um VidCon passes I actually made this so you can't get it anywhere but there's so many of these anywhere and they're really easy to make then I have like um tv thing and then the TV up here. This is a piece of wood that's going to be going on the ground, so ignore that. It's normally not there. I have some change. Every time I buy something, I keep my change. And then once it gets pretty full, I will get money for it. But that's going to take a long time. Over here, I just have some, like, hair ties and beauty products. And then I have this big cubby thing. Up here, I have this painting with my name on it that I got when I was pretty young and then I had this shelf up here which I used to have all of my old soccer trophies on it but I decided to take those down just because I don't play soccer anymore but as of right now I have this one fake plant a globe and a cross-country plaque that I got last year um and I definitely need to fill that up I think I want to get over here a plant a fake plant that like hangs down I think that will look really nice and some type of like long sign to fill up all of that. So this is an overview of my room right now. Oh yeah, with the carpet. This carpet I've had for so long, as you can see, there's stains on it. Oh yeah, I have a fan in the middle of my room because it's still hot in California. <laughs> but I'm so excited to take out this carpet. And then I have this trash can. I think I wanna replace that too because I am not a fan of that print. So we're going to start with the carpet today and I am so excited. My dad is going to help me because I don't know how to do this. But this is the intro and how my room is now and you will see it in the process and then stay to the end and you get to see it at the end. Um, 
we just took off these tiles that were on the ground, you saw that. Um, they were there for 65 years, and now I am sweeping everything up because there's a lot of like leftover stuff on the ground. So I finally get to paint my door, and I'm really excited to not have a yellow door. But first, I have to wash it off with this I went bowling the past two days in a row, which I actually did better than expected, and I won three out of the four games that I played, so really proud of myself. Basically a professional now, um, but my forearm is so sore. It hurts. I need a, like a forearm massage. Bowling? Oh. I know why it's a sport now. Like, my forearm sore. <laughs> Three days later and my room still looks the same. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the half of the room that we took the carpet out of. And this carpet is actually just laid down because um, I wanted something to walk on. Because my dad is a fireman so they can go into work for up to a few days. So he was gone for three days. I can't do this without help. So This half of the room we did last time and then this half, you can see along that line, everything on this side up into the wall we are going to do today. And I'm not gonna film much of it because it's the exact same thing that we did last time, but there's a possibility we're gonna be putting in the like floor today. So I'm really excited about that. <laughs> is now not covered in carpet. My bed has moved over there and then my drawers are up there. There is a vacuum and then my whole floor looks like this now. <laughs> I have knee pads on. If you can see, like all along the edge, there is these like putty thing, these putty thing. That's not English, whatever, this putty. And it's because when you took out the thing that holds the carpet in, I forget what that's called, it leaves holes, so we have to fill it up. And I want it to dry quicker because then I can paint my walls. In order to do that, I'm gonna use a blow dryer. That's what it's called, right? I don't know, I've never used these on my own hair, so I never use heat on my hair, like period. So I'm gonna do that and I have knee pads. So then, okay, they're really big on me. Ah. So then I don't bend over and hurt my back anymore because that's not what we want to do. So I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna try to watch YouTube while I do it, but I feel like it's gonna be too loud. Let's see how loud it is. Too loud for YouTube, sadly. Oh yeah, I just put the blow dryer on all that and I got really bored. So I just kind of did it for a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, you can. There's like a line of dirt, or not dirt, I think it's just like my wall is stained right there um, compared to the white other part of the wall. And it's because my bed goes right up against there and I think like, I don't know, it just got dirty. I have no idea what to say. But I'm gonna wash it off and then I'm gonna paint the wall white again. You can't really see most of it because of my bed, but it still annoys me so I wanna paint that. I can now watch YouTube while I'm doing it because um, it won't be loud like the blow dryer and I am sorry that is really crooked. And I'm watching Kennedy Walsh who has been my favorite person on YouTube recently. Now it's time to get painting. I'm gonna go paint my wall. I don't really know what I'm doing or how to do it right and there's a plane flying over so I'm sorry if it's loud but I'm gonna try my best like I did my door. My door turned out fine. So anyone wanna hire me? I will try my best but I can't promise anything. Then while since I came on, painted more for some reason. I'm tired doing this, like 
This is a workout. My arms are not very strong, but I'm doing it. So yeah, I just thought I'd update you that for some reason my heart's beating really fast because this is tiring to me. So I spent somewhere in between 45 minutes and an hour and the wall is white now. Along with this one, I painted this one too. I took down my photo hanger thing in this plaque. But it's all done now and I'm really glad. I am so hungry. So I'm gonna go make a smoothie bowl for lunch. My camera is balancing with the tripod on my windowsill and I am hoping that it didn't fall. But my whole room is now completely empty and now we can put in the ground, the floor, the wood, and I'm really excited, but it's vinyl, so I don't really know much about it, but I know we just have to like stick it down. So it shouldn't take, actually I have no idea how long it takes, but oh well. My walls are all like white now. They were white before, but they were kind of dirty because they haven't been painted in like a couple years. And I'm really excited and it looks weird. I'm so afraid my camera's gonna fall. Um, but basically I'm gonna go take a thumbnail because I think I want a before shot or not really before, like in the process picture. <laughs> Okay, go do that. And I'm gonna put on some knee pads. What? Because I am a construction woman. That's fun. How does this, oh. Oh, these are way too big for me. What are you gonna do? Put in the floor. I thought you said go on the floor. Oh no, my camera's gonna die. That yeah, my knee pads are now um, at my ankles and falling down every step that I take. So you see, put it at like an angle here. So kind of push it up against. All right, let's lay that down. I'm going to have you stand here and here, and then I'll come over there. OK, we're good. So we have just a couple like layers of it in. I'm happy with the floor that I ended up choosing. I was gonna go with full gray, but then I decided to go with one that has a little bit of brown. This is gonna take a long time. Right now it is 2.46. Maybe we started at like 2.15, I'm not really sure. much later 446 we got half of the floor in so this is what it's going to look like once it's done and tonight i'm just going to be sleeping on this mattress um, i have my water bottle and my phone and then we're leaving all this here because tomorrow we're gonna do the other half and i am so tired and my back hurts so much and I just want to lay down. My back is not doing great, but two days ago, I volunteered at this thing where we made Thanksgiving baskets and sent them out to people that couldn't afford to purchase a Thanksgiving meal, and I was doing that for a few hours in the morning, and standing for more than 15 minutes at a time hurts my back, and I was standing for like three hours, so that was not good. The day before that, I was working on this for more, and then... Today I was working on this for more and I think my back is going to just break. I'm gonna lay down because that's all I'm gonna do right now. Then I'm gonna make soup. Tomorrow I'll film a little bit more of us putting in the floor and then after that I just have decor, which I'm really excited for because that's when everything looks good in the end. So I have something um, to update on. Last night I slept on this bed. I had bedding on it. Um, we'll get to that in a second and it was fine whatever this morning i wanted to take off all of the bedding so then i could wash it and my mom was leaving to work and she said you have to do it really quickly so i just grabbed everything threw it in the um washing machine then i realized that my phone was gone looking all over for my phone and then i realized i probably rolled it up with the blankets that i then put in the washing machine that was going 
So I run over, I turn it off, and I look inside and pull out my phone. And now it's in rice. Um, it works completely fine besides the fact that it thinks I have headphones in every time that I try to play something with sound. So the only way I can hear anything is with earbuds. And that really sucks because I don't want that to happen. Another annoying part is that I'm about to hit 10,000 subscribers, which in a video before this, I've already said thank you, but thank you again. Um, and I really want to like get a screenshot of when it's at 10,000. So I'm gonna have to turn my phone on and check. I wanna see it at 10,000. I don't know that's gonna end up happening, but whatever. Um, I threw my phone in the washing machine and that's what happened. But today, oops, we are going to do the second half of my room flooring then we're gonna move all of the furniture back in and yeah and i'm not gonna show as much if i did yesterday i don't think because you've already seen it but um i'm gonna go eat lunch and then we're gonna get started <laughs> So we finally just finished putting in the, all the floor and I'm really excited about that. But there's this one part on the bottom of my closet that hasn't been painted in a while. So I'm gonna paint that and then, yeah, we put down a cloth so none of the paint will get on the ground because that would suck to get paint on my new floor. But I'm so excited that it's in. It took us like three or four hours in total to put it all in. So I'm really glad that it's in. And now I'm gonna finish painting up this and then my dad's gonna put in the baseboards around the walls and then we're gonna move the furniture back in and that's the rest of today. And then after today, I just have to paint the sign that I wanna put up on that big shelf and go decor shopping. So the whole entire floor is now in. These baseboards just got put in and now we just have to move all the furniture back in which is going to take a long time and I'm making soup right now like making it from scratch which I don't think I've ever done before um I don't even know why I decided to share that but just to let you know I'm making soup green beans for my soup and now I'm going to sweep it up Okay, so earlier I talked about how I wanted to cover up the shelf with something long and I looked online and all the signs that I did like were at least $60 and I didn't want to spend that much. So I'm going to be making my own. I'm taking inspiration from the Brandy Melville signs. I'll put up a picture so you can see what they look like. So right now I'm gonna be painting the border on the side and for my sign, I'm not gonna tell you what word I'm putting it on yet, but it has to do with the color red. It's nine letters and it has to do with something that I like. While I'm painting it, before the words show up, comment your guess below, because I want to see if anyone can get it right. just finished painting it and I messed up on the last letter more than any of the others. Um, overall, I'm actually really happy with it. From far away, it looks a lot better and I'm only gonna be seeing it from far away. So if there's little mess ups, like nobody's even gonna notice. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like all together. That's it, fully done. The sign is done. How long did that take me? I set a timer that took 49 minutes to do. Um, my back hurts. I need to go lay down. I'm done, I'm gonna wait for this to dry overnight and then put it up tomorrow and there's that and one last thing that I need to do in my room and then my whole room is done and I am so excited. I mean, I just can't wait. So yeah, I will see you all hopefully tomorrow or the next day when I finish everything. It's the next day and I am finishing my room today. I started working on my room and filming this video over a whole month ago. I don't know how long it's been. If I can find the actual date that I first started filming, I'll put it on the screen 
But today I'm gonna finish and I'm so excited. There's only a couple more things that I have to do. First thing that I'm going to do is put up my big subscribe sign. I think that it turned out so good and I'm really proud of myself because I didn't think that I'd be able to paint it this well. So let me go get a chair to stand on and I'm gonna go put this up on my shelf. So we put little like stands on the back so it should stand up. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. No way. So if you're wondering why I chose subscribe, it was because I needed something that was decently long enough because I wanted the sign to be pretty long. And when I was looking up ideas online, they were all super cheesy quotes like, live, love, laugh, family matters most. I don't know, I didn't want stuff like that. So I was going to put California for the longest time just because I live in California and it was a long word and it just, I don't know. But right before I was about to start painting, I realized that subscribe would work so well because I love YouTube so much that's literally all I want to do every single day is make videos and then I could have it as like a subliminal message in the back of my videos just like casually walk past it and um probably won't work but it might you never know so if you are watching this right now if you have stayed this long because I'm assuming this is gonna be a long video you should subscribe just letting you know. So yeah, and now there's two last things that I want to do. So I got these fake vines because I wanted a fake plant to hang off this edge of the shelf and they were all pretty expensive. So I went to Lowe's and I got this pot. I'll put in the footage right here of that. And this is what I'm going to be putting all of these vines into. And I am just going to tape it to the inside of this like multiple strands of it so then it looks like it's coming out. And because the shelf is so high, like nobody's actually gonna notice that it's not actually coming out, it's just taped into the inside. So they come in long strands like that and I'm gonna do multiple of them. So I'm gonna start taping them into the inside and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So I just finished this and I have so much left. I'll just keep it because you never know when I'm gonna want some fake vines. That looks good, right? I'm so excited, okay. That just looks a little awkward because it's the big sign and then just a lot of little things. So I'm gonna try to rearrange that and make it look better. The very last thing that I'm going to do is put up these twinkle lights on to that wall, which you're not going to be able to see because I'm going to tape it down with white duct tape and I'm going to bring the twinkle lights across that shelf. I'm just going to tape it like this. Hopefully you can see. If not, then I'm sorry. I'm just taping this to a wall. It's not that exciting. Are you ready for the final reveal? Because I am all finished with my room. Oh wait, no I'm not. I gotta go turn on the twinkle lights. So I'm gonna do the before and after clips right now and then I will kind of just walk you through my room. excited so before I say the end of the video and like talk about everything at the end I'm gonna show you my whole room definitely the main change was the floor which is what I was most excited for 
I had had that, okay, ignore my um, not matching socks, but I had that carpet for so long and I'm so glad. And then obviously the shelf was the other major change. So up on here, I have this pot with the fake ivy that I DIY'd myself. I have a cross country plaque. I covered the school name obviously for privacy purposes. Gold Christmas tree because Christmas is coming up. I have this globe, the subscribe sign, and this fake plant with the twinkle lights all the way across. And I think the plant hanging off the edge is super cute and I'm just obsessed with the, all of it. This light I already had, but I only got it like a week before I started this video. And then this candle I just got smells amazing. I talked about wanting to get a new trash can right there, but like a plain white one because I didn't like the old peace sign one that I had. Then I realized that I rarely even throw stuff away in it, so why not just get rid of it and not have to buy another one? The reason why I wanted another one was just because I didn't like the look of it, and I hardly even used it, so I just got rid of it. I hope that you like it. I'm not a professional interior designer, so if something goes against the rules, there's no rules. I like my room. Oh, one last thing. This wall is pretty plain, but I was looking on Urban Outfitters for some type of sign to put there, and my dad told me not to because I may or may not be getting something for Christmas to put right there. So I'm sorry, my room isn't technically completely done when I'm ending this video, but I've already been doing this for so long that I don't want to wait a couple more weeks to get it. So follow me on Instagram if you want to see that. I'll post a picture of it on my story when it's hung up on my wall so you'll know what it is because I don't even know yet so it's a, gonna be a surprise for all of us. That's the end of this video. I am so excited to start editing this video. I know it's gonna be the hardest video to edit so I really hope that you liked it and if you stayed at the end thank you because I'm assuming this is gonna be a really long video. I am so thankful. Thank you to my parents for helping me with this and thank you for watching and I'll see you all in my next video in my new room. <laughs>